Hey guys, Jen from Ezekiel Effect Ministries. I just wanted to, to share something really cool with you. As you know, I've been reading the Psalms almost every day and I'm taking a Hebrew course. And right now I'm on week two and it's pretty challenging, I have to say. Um, but I am reading um, this little book of the Psalms. That's the Hebrew version, and they read everything from right to left. So we're actually starting at the back of the book and going to the front, <laughs> if you look at it in English terms. It's very bizarre. Um, I'm not technically reading it yet. It's in English and Hebrew, but they want us to go through and just familiarize ourselves as we're learning the letters of the alphabet. We're starting to learn some nouns and verbs and um, definitions of word. It's it's a lot to take in. The symbols in and of themselves, writing the symbols, it's pretty crazy. Um, all that to say, there is something that blessed me tonight. I was looking at the little footnote under Psalm 41 in the Hebrew Bible, and I just wanted to read it to you because it just, it made me cry. When I opened this book, I mean, it's so anointed. This is the 75th anniversary of Israel. And that's what these books are. They're specially made for the 75th anniversary. They came from Israel. I have a literally, I'll show you on another video. I have a whole box, literally all these little sections of the Bible, just like the Torah, they're divided up. And um, so the box probably weighs like 20 pounds or something. And anyway, this says the book of Psalms is traditionally divided into five sub books, similar to the Torah, which is the first five books of the Old Testament. Psalm 41 concludes the first book with a blessing. The word for blessing, baraka, comes from the root B-R-K-H, which also produces words like crevice, tunnel, knees. All these reflect the notion of going from above to something below. Rabbi Arya Kaplan in his book, Jewish Meditation, explains that it's our mission to bring God down from above to become an integral part of our lives. In contrast, the word halal, meaning praise, implies God's transcendence. Yet the two words together, Telel and Baraka, praise and blessing, is the essence of man's relationship with the Lord. Isn't that cool? We must strive to both praise God as a transcendent above place and time and bless him as being very imminent and closely involved in our lives. That was the, that was the part that just made me weep. And I couldn't make the video while I was crying, so I had to wait. <laughs> um, it just made me weep because that's just, that's who God is, you know? He's a personal God. He brought heaven down to us. Even though we praise him and we lift him up, he comes down to us. He sent Jesus to come down and meet us, to save us. And he is imminent and closely involved in our lives when we choose him, when we say yes to him. So I just bless the Lord today and I'm so grateful for what I'm gonna learn and I'm excited to share this with you. If you're excited, put, put, a, little, um, put a little emoji, make, you know, put some notes in the comments to just say, you know, I'm learning Hebrew along with you. <laughs> I'm working on flashcards right now. Um, I got two weeks to catch up with because I didn't know I was supposed to do um, homework from last week because I missed that part when he was talking. So I'm catching up on two weeks worth of homework and uh, I'm going to try to just crank it out a little bit every day. So um, I would really appreciate your prayers. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I The Lord told me I was supposed to take this class and learn Hebrew. It's through the, it's through the Israel Institute of Biblical Studies in Jerusalem. So it's literally a live Zoom call with an instructor and people in the class every week. And um, yeah, we go pretty quick and it's for nine months. So it's gonna be going through March. So I've got my hands full amongst everything else that I'm doing, but the Lord literally dropped this in my lap because he wants me to learn Hebrew because you know my heart is for Israel. So anyway, I would just love, I would love all the prayers you want to send my way 
to just um, help me to retain this information. And uh, they told us by the end of the nine months, we're gonna be speaking some basic Hebrew and we're gonna be able to pray some really cool prayers in Hebrew. So I am excited. There's people in my class that, there's probably like five or six of us, I think total, but there's a few people in my class who, they clearly have gone through the course at least once, maybe even more, I don't know, they seem very confident. And then there's a couple of us that are like, whoa. So we're all, <laughs> we're all at different levels, um, but it's all good. God is good, he's got this. It's not by my, po my might or my power, but by the Holy Spirit's power and um he's gonna he's gonna do something awesome with it so anyway i hope you're having a great night shalom shalom